Well, hi everybody. Um, this is just a quick Christmas craft for decorations. Um, you see these a lot where people would stuff uh, like gifts, candies, things like that, and then they'd wrap them up and they'd bow tie each end, and they always called them crackers. Could never figure out what they were for a while. But I always thought they looked really cool. Now, if you're low on a budget and you don't have a lot for decorations, or if you have those really cool Christmas ideas that, you know, they sound really good in your head, but you cannot find anywhere that sells the style you want or the theme you want, make your own. And I, this just, I don't even know where I got this from. I probably saw it somewhere and, um, or saw a version of it and thought that'd be a great idea. So, what I'm doing is I've got a wire brush and sometimes, obviously, these are toilet paper rolls and a paper towel roll. Um, don't have to get them all off. And what's cool about this is you don't need paint. You can if you want, you know, but you don't have to. Um, you ever open up a gift or pull out the tissue paper from a gift bag you've got and you thought, gosh, how pretty. And you don't know what to do with it. Well, I keep some of some of the stuff I get. I don't keep all of it. Oh, here's a little bit on this. See, I didn't get everything off, but I got most of it. Oops. And a lot of people don't look at toilet paper rolls as, you know, uh, sturdy crafting material. But honestly, you just got to know how to handle it. And they can be very, very sturdy. Sometimes as simple as just wrapping them in paper will give them enough stability to do what you need. And if not, then you implement. So what I'm going to do first, all right, is I'm going to do two of these. But I'm going to get a plastic bag, grocery shopping bag. And I'm just going to stuff one bag is fine in a toilet paper roll. Now what that does, let's see, is it gives it a little bit of weight and it gives it a little bit of structure. It holds the structure better. Let me get another one. Okay. So say your theme this year, you want... Um, silver and gold, or blue and silver. Let's do blue and silver since we've got it here. Put these off to the side. Get me a sip of coffee really quick. I love cinnamon coffee, and where I'm at, it's really hard to find. So I just, you see the stuff floating in it? That's just a little bit of cinnamon. All right, so this is some old tissue paper that I've had from a gift that was given. So let's move this out of the way really quick. And we'll set this aside. Now obviously, I'm not gonna need a piece this big. But what you wanna do is you wanna roll it and look through to see if that's as, you know, the color you want. If you want it brighter, then you can paint it if you want. I don't. At least I'm not going to this time. I'm going to grab a piece of white tissue paper. And I'm going to double it up. Let's see if I can get these pieces apart. There we go. Uh-oh. I forgot the big white gash. Boosh! Okay. So now, I'm going to look... 
there, and see, it's a little bit brighter. Okay. And it's really, really simple. Okay, what I would do, and these don't have to match up in size, is I would take this, uh, I don't, there it is. See, I don't want to use my double sided tape for this, so I'm going to grab some scotch tape because this is really that simple. Put that off to the side. Two little pieces. And I'm going to do this in the middle because you want some sticking out on this end and you want some sticking out on this end. So I'm going to tape that down. Now, if you wanted to make these into gifts, that would be great. The crackers that I've seen before, um, actually, you, you're supposed to pop them and they, they crack, you know, kind of like one of those old glow sticks where you snap them and then they you shake them up and then they glow. But uh, with the crackers, that that's why they call them crackers, because they crack. But I think they look fabulous for um, decorations as well and a lot of people do too so this is what I'm going to do and it's really easy to find all kinds of tissue paper so if you didn't want to do this for Christmas and you wanted to do this for a baby shower you know that would be really cool filling you know with baby shower game gifts and you know like those candy nipples and uh, pacifiers and stuff. You could put them in there for gag gifts. That type of thing. Okay, so. Now all I'm going to do is wrap this up. Now if you find you don't like that crinkled look. Alright, because mine is wrinkled because it's been used. I don't know if you can tell that. Most people, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it. So. But if you wanted to smooth it out and you wanted a smooth, clean look, you can always lay this down, put a piece of cardstock, not paper, but cardstock on top of it, and then iron it. And that'll smooth out your wrinkles because tissue paper is too uh, delicate for, you know, direct contact to your iron. Okay, so now we've got that. And what I'm going to do is twist this gently so that it doesn't tear. And let's pick out some ribbon. Um, I didn't grab any silver or blue. Okay, let me grab my thing. It's right here. And I have silver. So you can use regular curling ribbon, you know, um, that you wrap presents with, which is what I would do. Or you could use, you know, cloth ribbon. I've got some black here. Um, you can use silk ribbon. You know, depending on your style, if you wanted a shabby chic look, if you wanted, you know, whatever. And two different colors would work. So let me see if I have a skinny one that will work with the blue. No, I've got pink and dark purple. I've got a light blue. That might work. And it's, I've got two different kinds. Ooh, I like that one. Uh-oh, I think I'm unwinding a ribbon spool. I am. All right. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these together. Okay. And I'm just going to tie. Actually, that's not quite close enough to the to the base but that's okay you'll see what I mean okay. 
Okay, you could put a really pretty fancy bow on it. You could, you know, hang little doodads from it. All you want. All I'm going to do. Just leave it like that. And it really is just that simple. Just remember when you twist the end, be gentle because the tissue paper will tear. This one a little bit closer to the base. Mm, not too much, but it's okay. Go ahead and trim that, makes it much easier. But I at least try to get the first loop in so that way I don't have to cut any excess, too much excess off anyway and waste. But yeah, these are just leftover tissue paper, leftover ribbons. And there we go. That's your first cracker. This side's a little bit longer than the other, so I'll just kind of make that, cut it a little bit uneven. On this side, I don't want to make it so. There we go. Okay, and then you can crumble it and flip it, and you've got one. You've got a blue and silver Christmas decoration that you could you could pile them in a bowl with a couple of pine cones and, a, and a, some ornaments, um, and it would make a really wonderful centerpiece. Okay, so let's see. We've got blue and silver done. Let's try another color. Um, a friend of mine likes gold and burgundy. That's what she's doing her Christmas in this year. Well, I don't have any burgundy um, tissue paper, but I do have gold. Now, can you see how wrinkled that is? Let's put this one up to the side. Okay. Now you can try and flatten it out by hand. You can iron it. Me, I like the wrinkled look. It looks more, um, uh, you know, it could say vintage. I mean, there are some vintage things I don't like the look of. Like when people do all this work to paint and you know, to, to strip sand and paint their furniture and then they take uh, sandpaper or something and scuff it all up and make it look old and dirty again. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> now, a crackle finish I like, okay? But some people do that sanding thing that just, that's just too much, okay? Now, since the gold is pretty much, you know, on target for this, I'm not going to worry about a second layer. Now, you can do like two layers of the gold if you want and give it more um, oomph. But, gotta have that coffee. All right. But this is how easy it is. I feel like I'm talking too much, but that's okay. But see, yeah, this is just stuff you would have around the house. Uh-oh. I don't know why I did that. Because I threw the other one over here. So since I've already taped it, I'm just going to go ahead and stuff this one in here. Like I said, you don't have to. But this just gives it a little bit of, um, like I said, structure. And then we're going to roll it. Now see, can you see the wrinkles in that? Looks like a giant 
candy bar for me. Alrighty. And it doesn't really take that much. See, just one strip of tissue paper. And then we'll set that aside. I like the wrinkled look. the edges. I do this when I wrap my presents because I like clean, crisp edges when I do my presents. This doesn't make sense, but you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, there's just some things that... <laughs> Okay, I could make this so much harder than it is, right? And that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> Making it so much harder. <laughs> okay. Now, this isn't all I'm doing. I'm just showing you. You can do it in different colors, and that would be, you know... Fabulous. Let's see. We've got some burgundy ribbon and I've got, see, leftover ribbon. And when you buy these big spools, I think this one I got from Walmart, but you buy these big spools and honestly, unless you, you know, buy out Macy's or something, um, they're going to last you quite a while. And what's really cool is... Come on, there we go. When you use the curling ribbons, you can actually curl them. It makes it easier than using um, cloth ribbon, but it depends on your style. You know, if you want shabby chic, then you're going to use cloth ribbon, lace, things like that. Now, yes, I'm making it much, much more elaborate but I'm also doing four strands on one end and I'll show you why. <sighs> All right, let's pull about even. It does make it a challenge. Come on. There we go. Okay, now once that first one is on, then it's a little bit easier to, okay, so one end, let me do the other one so we can get that done, oh, let's see, this gently. Now 
Now, even though the video itself is going to be called a tw it's going to be a 20 minutes or less craft, it's going to be longer than the 20 minutes because I'm showing different techniques. If you, you know, if you're doing just burgundy and gold, then obviously this is the only one you're going to do. And it's not going to take as long because I'm not, you know, doing, or you won't be doing several different styles. So, okay. So that's there. Take my jacket off real quick because I'm getting a little bit warm. Okay. And then I need a smaller pair of scissors. I don't want to use the big one. And then just curl them. Obviously, you know, some will be tighter than the others. Some will be longer than the others. As long as when you when you pull the scissors across your ribbon, you're going in the same direction as the roll of the ribbon. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't, you see how these are, are rolling this way? Well, then I would put my scissors underneath that roll and pull them that way. If I did it the other way, it would just come out looking all bumper jawed and pickledy pickledy. So I'm going to do this one a little bit tighter. So we get a little bit more curl. See? That one's curled. That one's not. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now look how pretty that is. Can you see that? You do the same with the other side. Or you could try. You see, I don't like doing them all at the same time because you can't get a consistent um, curl. But then they all look, where did it go? Right here. You see how that just looks plain when you do them all at the same time? You do them individually and it looks more organic. So let's do the other side, not the same way. Okay, so we'll do these one at a time. And if you want, okay, for example, if you want the curl longer, to hang longer, don't start way up here. Start at the bottom and just, see that? Then you get a little bitty curl at the bottom. Let's see if you can see that all right. Which looks cool, you know, to be honest. You want a curl to go a little bit up higher. Let's pull that one out of the way. Then you go up higher on your, see? I you see the difference on these two. I don't know if you can tell. This one's got the itty bitty curl at the end. This one's got a bigger curl in the middle. Oh, let's see. It doesn't look like it's showing up very well on camera. Now I did those two together, but I'm going to take another one and smooth it out. Now you see the difference? This one's a lot more flowy and uh, more festive, and this one's a little bit more sedate and more whimsical in my opinion. Okay, so there's two there. All right, now if you if those are too plain for you, okay. Uh, let me pause. Pardon me. Let me pause this really quickly, and I will go grab my next um, the next thing I want to show you. Okay, I got these big snowflake stamps. They're foam. You see that? 
I got this whole bag from uh, um, Oriental Trading. Okay, the item number is 56 slash 2393. Um, and I love, I love them. One, it's a great thing for the kids to do. They want to do their own, you know, make their own wrapping paper, decorate, you know, things for the house, whatever. But what I got to thinking was why not do it on tissue paper? Like if you're in some areas that don't, that you can't find patterned tissue paper, because I live in the South. You'd think we'd be able to find something. No. Okay. So, but a lot of people, you can almost always find solid white. So this is what we're going to do. Actually, I don't have a big enough desk to do that, but we will see. Let's put that one aside. All right. Let's get rid of some of this other stuff. Well, I've got a couple more things to show you. Okay, so let's see, let me get a piece of scrap paper. Uh, no, that's just too big right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of cardstock. That'll just have to do, because for now, let's see, snowflakes, eh. I'm putting some metallic paint down, not very much. Okay, that's like, a, that's a Christmas green, I believe. Yeah, that one's Christmas green. And this one is called Berry. But what's Christmas without the red and green colors, right? Actually, I'm going to do it down here because these will make a mess. All right, I'm just going to take my finger, make sure I got a towel. <laughs> And I'm going to spread that out. It might work better on a piece of wax paper, but, you know, we don't want it super dark. I'm going to take the foam stamp. There we go. And I'm just going to stamp all over. Not a whole lot because I don't have a lot to do. Okay, eh, we'll do it like that. Then I'm going to take, I'll wipe that off for a minute. I said, if you have the paint, you can do it. Doesn't have to be metallic, doesn't have to be, you know, anything else. Let's find a different one. Let's see this one. Not this one's a little smaller, I think. I'll just put that right in the middle. You can do this with regular stamps if you've got some really pretty Christmas stamps and you don't want something this, you know, bold. there okay and then when that dries you can use that and get a baby wipe <clears throat> and a baby wipe just cleans them right up regular acrylic paint, that tempura paint, you know. I wouldn't suggest embossing powder or anything because if you use the heat gun to melt it, you destroy your tissue paper. But if you were to do that on regular paper, then that'd be different. Okay, so that's one option, and then you can wrap it and use the coordinating colors for ribbon. 
Okay, so let's set these off to the side really quickly. Like I said, you can use regular, and then if you wanted to come back through with smaller stamps in different colors, you can know you could fit those in. Set that right there, and we will set this off to the side to dry. Okay. <clears throat> well, that'll work right there next to the floor. <laughs> okay. Now, say for instance, this is too plain for you, the one we already did. Okay. I believe the light is a little bit strong. Ah, uh, it'll work. So, but you see that? Okay. What if that's not quite what you want? And you've got a buttload of washi tape. See, this is a really pretty washi tape. I like this one. I think, I believe this one came from, this one came from a thrift store, but I think it's Bud Silk Stationery Stickers, and it came from overseas, but I know I got this at uh, like a trademark or something, you know, uh, when I was in Paducah. There we go. Yeah, the more intricate ones are a little bit harder to peel off. But they are so worth it. They are so pretty. There we go. Look how pretty that is. Just gives it a little bit more pizzazz and some sparkle. Okay, so let's do it on the other end. That I know I've got a buttload of washi tape that I absolutely love when I bought it, but I hardly ever use it. Why do we do that as crafters? We think, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I can use that for so many things. And then it goes in our drawer and it doesn't see the light of day. Okay, but look how, can you see the difference? How it just gives a little bit of sparkle. I wish you could see that better. There we go. And if all you're looking for is sparkle to reflect off your Christmas lights, you know, that's perfect. Okay, so we've got, you know, these two different colors. Then we've got the one we painted. And there's another one. Okay, say for instance, you, you're you in a hurry to decorate. You've got people coming over, but you don't have any paper towel or toilet paper holder rolls, anything. Or you want bigger ones in different sizes. There we go. So let's see, a toilet paper roll is, I don't even know how big it is. It looks like maybe six inches, but I could be wrong. It's probably four. Yeah, four inches, but you want a couple of four inches, a couple of six inches, and maybe a couple of eight inches, you know, just to give you some, some color. So we've got, there's four, we'll do a couple of six inches and it's not an exact science. So let's see, you just want them a little bit bigger. There we go. And this is still a little bit bigger than a four inch. So you're still gonna get, you know, a couple of different sizes. Let's see. 
There we go. Okay. Let's do a big one. But you're doing shabby chic, right? Okay. So let me pause this really quick. Let me clean this up and we'll do shabby chic next. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I've got the six inch one we cut. Okay. I'm going to wrap this. Actually, I'm going to double wrap it. Because I'm not putting padding on it. Let me get it down here a little bit. And out right there. And Chevy Chic is a lot about fabrics and color and Now what's also cool about doing it this way is you can use your, um, you know, doilies and, and rubber band them. Uh, let me grab a, a bag. Uh, and then, you know, take them apart at the end of the season and, you know, you don't have to cut up or destroy anything. Now, see, I didn't bother cutting any excess off because I'm going to cover it anyway. And you want it to look, you know, scrumptious. And let me see how long on each side. About right here. Okay. Another thing you can use is um, like doilies, spray painted, painted, whatever you want, and you can just wrap them around. See how pretty that would be? They're different colors. You can use doilies, you can use um, ribbons, you can use lace, you, anything you want to use, you can use. You know, you could use plaid or, you know, turn it, almost make it look like a piece of candy. You know, how cool is that? Possibilities are only limited by your imagination. So, okay. Now I've got some, uh, I don't even know what you call this. It's like tool, but it's not tool. It's just a really wide mesh lace. And it's almost the perfect size. So let's do that. No, I didn't measure it. Okay. And it doesn't bother me if it doesn't go all the way or if it goes all the way around twice because then it just gives it some depth. Now you're not going to see a lot of color on this yet, and yes, I'm still using tape because I'm not done. Okay. And if it's just going to be sitting, you know, in a, in a bowl, then securing it isn't as important. Okay, so here's a piece. Not really pretty. Why do the colors look so washed out? All right. I'm going to cut a piece. Now for this, you can use Fabri-Tac. You can use a couple dots of hot glue. You could, you know what I mean. You could pretty much do whatever you want, but. For all intents and purposes right now, I'm just going to use mass or scotch tape. And I said mine will be sitting in a bowl on my on my uh, 
I had this wrought iron black. Uh, it's like a leaf bowl, but it's very open and very, uh, anyways, I'm going to put a bunch of these in there. Okay. So we'll set that aside. You can still take a regular doily and wrap it. You still can't see that very well. Wow. I wish there was a way I could adjust my, my lighting. All right, but we'll give it some color now. Good grief. Okay. Oh, I forgot the other lace. Let me grab that really quick. Give me one second. If I can get this tape off of me, I'll be right back. Okay. I was going to use this really thin ribbon. I believe it's like eighth inch. Yeah, it's eight to eight inch. But it's kind of too skinny for me. I might go, well, I might use it along with these. I found a, a little bit of a wider one and a paler one. So there's two different shades of pink here. I figured that would work really nicely. And then I just found some lace. And what's really cool about doing it like this, let me see. Again, you can layer up your colors, give it some depth. You can knot it if you want. I'm not going to because <clears throat> there. And we'll do the same with this side. Okay, let me pause this really quick because this is going to take me a second and I'm sure you don't want to watch me tie bows, so give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I grabbed a couple of things um, for, you know, decorations. That's a little big. Uh, it's kind of a really pretty green. It's like a seafoam green type thing. And that the purple doesn't quite match. So I also got some of these flat backs I got. I thought those would be really pretty on the ends. <clears throat> Maybe one in the middle. I think that's what I'll do. Now for this I am going to use a little bit of hot glue. But if you know it's something that's going to be, um, you know, reused, then obviously, you know, you can do this accordingly. But yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm going to I'm going to do it on this side maybe.
I don't know. That looks about right. Or let me see if this would be better. Yeah, I think just the one. And with the shabby chic, you can get as elaborate or as simple as you like. That's no big deal at all. But, so there's our shabby chic one. So, let's see. Where did they go? Holy moly. Ah, there they are. So, we've got this one. This one. This one. Those are the only ones we have. And then, of course, you know, with Shed the Chic, there's always got to be flowers and everything. But, like I said, as little or as much as you'd like. Uh, let's see on the gold. I want to put a little bow on there. No, it's not quite the right red, and it's a little too big. <clears throat> but, there's our Christmas crackers. And, as always, it's a wonderful time of the year, obviously. Christmas coming up. And I want to thank you for watching my video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Okay? And uh, click the subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And you'll, if you click the little bell icon, you'll get notifications when I... <clears throat> when I upload new videos. Uh, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and go. I want to tell you guys, um, always, always, always remember to find the humor in life. Because if you don't, life sucks. It really does. you got to take the bad, look for the good, as much as you can. And sometimes it's really hard to do that when you're, you know, in the middle of the, the storm, so to speak. But uh, if you can find the humor... It helps you break through that storm, and it helps you get to the other side with a better outlook on life. So, I'm going to go. Thank you again, and everybody have a wonderful day.